it's me, Felsbug, and I'm back with another review. Oh man, and this is gonna be awesome because I have Willie LG29, and I've been real excited to review them and to get them. And I was waiting for the car because, well, here in Taiwan, the Hasbro version costs 500 NT. And the Takara version with Go Shooter costs 450. So, which one do you think I will choose? That's right. I will choose the Takara Plus. I'm giving one away in our in the first ever Felsbug Speed Foreman competition. Yeah, we're Speed Foreman Combiner Wars Optimus. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little link over there. Yes, yeah, so you could check out the video. All you have to do is have the fastest time to transform Combiner Wars Optimus from truck mode to robot mode. That's it. No guns, just the figure. Truck mode, robot mode, fastest time, boom, you win. You can see the rules and the video over there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm real excited. And I can't wait to take Wheelie and put him on top of Grimlock. Yeah, that's why I want a Wheelie. Because, you know, I love that scene in Transformers the movie when... When Wheelie is riding Grimlock, it's awesome. So let's take a quick look at the box and then open it up and check this out. So, all right, let's do this. Handy hands. So uh, there's the front, and of course it's Wheelie, and it says Wheelie and Go Shooter Supercar to Robot. Well, I wouldn't say it's really a supercar, but uh, okay. And go to the side there. You see the little picture over there of Wheelie, and then Wheelie as a car, and then Go Shooter. And then the back. Yep, and of course, being that this is Legend, he's going to come up with a comic, and I can't wait to see the comic. That's usually, like, one of my favorite parts, because those comics are crazy and insane. And then to the back right there, where we see, you know, the cartoon, or the uh, drawing of uh, Willy and Go Shooter. Back to the front, and just tilt it down there, right there. And there you can see the top of the package, and it looks awesome. So, yep, let's just go open them up and take a look what's inside. Woohoo! I can't wait. Man, I love having a schedule to do my videos. Makes things much easier. Woohoo! All right, and here's the instruction manual. Really cool picture of Wheelie and Go Shooter. And there it says Autobot Wheelie LG29 Wheelie. And in Japanese, down here it says uh, Survivalist. So we go back. And we can take a look. And if you want, you could just pause it to take a look. Because otherwise it'll take too long. Yeah, the first time I tried to show this, it took too long because the comic just enthralled me. <laughs> Alright, so uh, it's a crazy comic coming up. But uh, yeah, so the tech specs right there, you can see it. The strength of a 5, the intelligence of a 6, the speed of an 8, endurance of a 9, rank of a Five, courage of a seven, fire blast of a six, and the skill, I'm sorry, courage of an eight, fire blast of a seven, and the skill of an eight right there. All right. And then we open up, and man, I was just so fascinated by what I saw. But yeah, I'll just let it speak for itself. Yeah, so we have RC in a cheerleading outfit, and Willie keeps picking up her skirt. And that little kid is Go Shooter. And again, you can pause. Galvatron is kicking his head around. Right there. Master Force, he changes. All right. Then Riding Wheelie. Galvatron kicks his own head at them. Wheelie kicks uh, Go Shooter for the Head Ball Vulcan attack. Right there. And shoot, shoot, shoot. They win, yay, and Wheelie is right back at picking up RC's skirt, so, yeah, insanity, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so let's get to the figure, woohoo! All right, and here we have, we'll start with Ghost Shooter, and man, I don't know how they painted that, <laughs> because he is tiny, and to get that little bit of paint on that head, the way they did that is pretty awesome job right there. So yeah, and if we pull back, and you know, there's the legs. 
to the side right there and articulation is same as always take a look at the back over here this here I like how he has the guns on the sides of his hands but yeah right there and of course transformation is just simply that hey turn the head around but yeah right here and here is the go shooter headmaster and it's a very 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 nice mold I likes it right there so yeah so there's go shooter and of course go shooter he can go inside wheelie you just have to open up both sides we'll see so yeah I just put him yeah there he is and uh, yeah to put him in there you gotta open up both sides so you flip this up back here and then actually I think his feet go straight yeah straight like this and then you can put him inside wheelie yay headmaster gimmick or sorry Titan Master oh no it is headmaster gimmick because this is the Takara yeah but there you go and here's wheelie and I do like the way wheelie looks they did a good job um, how how he snaps together though I don't really like because he doesn't really hold together very well as a vehicle you put a little bit of pressure here or there and he kind of falls apart so that's a negative about wheelie but how he looks he looks great and actually you know he rolls pretty well he's turning left but yeah and the wheels are actually a um, translucent plastic for him right there so yeah very cool very nice so let's go and we'll get him into his robot mode all right all right so let's transform wheelie and we're going to go and just separate that and it's one of the things that bugs me about the figure is how easy he comes apart like you can give him a good squeeze and like everything will come out of place so that's not really <laughs> that's really not fun when it's just like oh I just move that and everything came apart oh okay yeah so but I do like the way he transforms I do like the thinking that went into him because there there was some thinking I like this accordion so here where this comes in you flip this down here comes like this you've got the clear piece clear piece goes here now you take the head push the head through flip it around turn around the head there's his head oh I forgot to do one last thing take the uh, waist turn the waist around and there you have Willie in his robot mode and it is an awesome looking robot mode so yeah let's just go and take a close look now and here's Wheelie and man does it look fantastic it really does and uh, yeah that head sculpt is dead on for Wheelie I mean, I don't think you could do it better and the metallic paint they used look at the blue eyes how they got in there to paint those eyes it's just impressive and uh, one of the big differences is the uh, glass you know this the canopy in the Takara version it's like a smoky it's like smoked so it's kind of a dark color and whereas here it's clear so yeah but otherwise there's a few differences not too many but yeah it looks great I love the look of wheelie I mean yeah he'll do fine riding on top of Grimlock yeah, if we go look at the sides look at the back Go all the way around here with them. Now, articulation on him is great. Although I will say he's very... You have to treat him gently because I can just go like this and just pull off his arm with hardly any um, effort at all. So yeah, his arm will go out to the side. He's got the ball joint, 360. Um, for his arm, same thing, ball joint. You can get 360. 90 degree right there, waist, yep, he has waist spin, hips, ball joint, go out, forward, back, right there, knee is on a ball joint as well, 
and you get a really good, you just open this up, you can get all the way with the knee. But yeah, so his articulation is great. Oh, and his head will do 360. But yeah, fantastic articulation. Just an, it's what you would expect from a wheelie figure. You know, I mean, if you want wheelie, they gave you wheelie. And I'm very happy. So uh, yeah, let's go um, for the summation. How rad. How rad, Tam, for the summation. So what do I think about Legends LG29, Wheelie and Ghost Shooter? Man, I like this set. I mean, yep, it's great to get a uh, Headmaster for $50 less, you know, 50 NT less, than getting just a Wheelie figure. And this Wheelie figure is pretty nice. It does have faults. One of which is the joints are, are kind of, I don't want to say loose. They're not loose, but they just pop out real easy. And in vehicular mode, it's like so easy to just pop them out of vehicular mode. I mean, he's just like barely hanging on to hold together as he is super car mode. But yeah, but I have to remember he's just a simple figure. You know, this isn't the most complicated figure it's supposed to be a simple, fun figure, and that's what it is. He succeeds as that. So is he nice? Yeah, he's nice. Is he is he shiny? Yeah, it's a figure I wanted. Because, man, that G1 figure, I still don't want that. And is he good? Well, he's all right. So nice, shiny, and all right. So he's close enough for eating. So let me just come in there and... Um, mm, mm, mm. Oh, go shoot him, fell down. He tried to escape. Oh, hold on. Mmm. Go shooter tried to escape my wrath as he sits under Grimlock. Huh. Well, that's okay. Headmasters are kind of like eating like I don't know that little pi the little tiny piece of popcorn, you know, in the bag. Not the full piece of popcorn, just a little piece. So I can let you go there, go shooter. But nice shiny hand, good, good toy, good toy. Um, guys, please remember to like and share and subscribe um yeah really appreciate you guys and uh check out the video for the uh for the speed forming contest -y. yeah because i really want to get into doing some speed forming stuff because i always wanted to be in a like a speed forming contest and just seeing how fast people can transform things that's awesome so thanks a lot guys and uh yeah i guess i'll see you saturday and uh bye